CYC is a free channel presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Hello and welcome to your program called Hyperlink where we'll address the youth on many issues concerning them and their parents. As we saw in our previous episode on the dangers of body piercing, similarly as Christian believers we also reject any form of body tattooing. But first let's go and see the opinions of the youth and their parents on this topic, body tattooing. Hello, actually sometimes I'd like to have a tattoo. As you know, it's fashionable nowadays and it may grab the attention of other people. Uh, and nowadays, it's also a trend between this generation to be more hot lady. As you know, the picture that you will have, it may be a symbolism for your character. But also, all our parents are against this idea of having a tattoo. They may say that you are an impolite girl, or also you are um, an impolite girl, you are not a cute girl. So what should I do? Maybe sometimes I be persuaded by their opinions, but other times, I need to do it. Thank you for your participations and your personal opinions. Now let's go and answer your first question. It is popular for our Christian youth today to have tattoos on their body. If this is the right thing to do or not. If you are considering the question to tattoo or not to, I think the more serious question to ask yourself are what are my motives for wanting a tattoo and uh, I, I seeking to glorify God or drawing attention to myself? Will my tattoo be a source of contention for my loved ones? Will getting a tattoo cause me to disobey my parents? Will my tattoo cause someone who is weak in faith to stumble? God has given us a means to judge our motives and weigh our decisions. Romans 14.23 states, everything that does not come from faith is sin. Now that's pretty clear, isn't it? Instead of asking, is it okay for a Christian to get a tattoo? Perhaps a better question might be, is it okay for me to get a tattoo? Since tattooing is such a controversial issue today, I think it's important to examine your heart and your motives before you make the decision. Move on to the next question. I know that once you get a tattoo, it is permanent for life. Are there any people who regret having a tattoo? Tattoos are still popular with some youth, although many others are now trying to get rid of them. Let me give you some examples. A newspaper survey in March 2006 found that a quarter of tattooed people over 25 wish they didn't have them. Tattoo specialists say demand for removals and modifications is booming and will continue to rise. Tattoo removal laser operator Samantha Massey told the Sunday Mail March 5, 2006, a few years ago it was fashionable to be tattooed and some people decided to get one before they were ready to accept responsibility for something so permanent. Many showbiz idols now suffer from tattoo regret. Actress Angelina Jolie had her left arm tattooed with her husband Billy Bob Thornton's name on it. She had it removed when she met Brad Pitt. Rocker Pete Doherty slashed his arm to try to remove his tattoo tribute to supermodel Kate Moss and heavily tattooed pop star Robbie Williams said, I wish it was like an etch-a-sketch where I can wipe them all out. It would be nice to have a pure, clean body again. Raper Pharrell Williams announced in July 2008 that he was willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars growing new skin in a test tube so he can get it stitched over his tattoos. So think twice before getting any tattooed image 
on your body. Move on to the next question. So what is the Bible's view in tattoos? Is it a sin? The Old Testament views of tattoos is simple. Don't have them. Yes, it is a sin. Among the laws of social order given to the Israelites in Leviticus 19 verse 28 is the instruction not to print any marks upon you. The Hebrew words mean simply, don't get a tattoo. We'll go to the next question. This is Old Testament laws, but what does the New Testament tell us about tattooing? It's true. Today, we do not live under the Old Testament Mosaic law, and we live under the law of Christ. Therefore, we must go to the New Testament and investigate the doctrine and law of Christ to see whether it is lawful for us to tattoo our bodies. There are four principles we can apply when determining whether tattooing is lawful. One, we are to glorify God in our bodies, as St. Paul said to the Corinthians, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were brought as a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. We must exalt Christ in our bodies, as St. Paul said to the Philippians, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. Our outward appearance is to profess godliness. He said, For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience, that we conduct ourselves in the worldly, in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God and more abundantly toward you. Second point, we are to only do things that are honorable and respectable in the sight of all men, obeying God in everything we do. St. Paul says, we ought to obey God rather than men. Three, we shouldn't engage in lustful and licentious behaviors. Romans 6, 12 says, Therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lusts. And St. John also says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but it is of the world. The fourth point, we shouldn't engage in questionable behaviors. St. Paul says, test all things, hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. We know Christians who have tattoos and think no less of them for this. The Mount Sinai law doesn't apply to Christians and there is no compulsion for Christians to either have or not have tattoos. Tattooing has no bearing on salvation either. Go to the next question. Can tattooing cause any infections to the body? Yes, it can. We believe tattooing has allegedly contributed to skyrocketing rates of hepatitis and to disorders such as skin cancer. In fact, news reporters in May 2008 said that health experts in Australia have become alarmed over the surge in hepatitis cases since the tattoo and body piercing craze caught hold. Cases of hepatitis B and C in Australia had jumped alarmingly to 277,000 in the past year. A health promotion officer said, the rate of hepatitis is rising and it is because we have a high incidence of young people fooling around with tattoos and piercings. At one time, the New York City government severely restricted tattooing because tattoo equipment was spreading hepatitis. And some people are allergic to the dye used in tattoos, so their body fights to reject the tattoo. Go on to the next question. Why is tattooing a taboo and unpopular with the Christian world? In certain other religions. Tattooing has never been popular with many groups including Jews and Christians. In recent history people have associated tattoos with US convicts, British army deserters, anti-social groups, prisoners, truck drivers, motorcycle and street gangs. 
and Nazi concentration camps during the Second World War. Another strong negative is that tattoos are difficult and costly to remove and they may leave a permanent ugly mark on your skin. Getting a tattoo today may mean you will be stuck with it as tattoos go out of fashion again. In order to remove the tattoos, it takes several sessions of laser treatment. Professional tattoos can take 10 sessions of treatment and may cost 200 to 800 per session. And removal is painful. When we asked some Christian youth whether they would ever wear a tattoo, one said, no, I don't want to look ugly. Another said tattoos were just skin graffiti. That made you look like a dirty wall. We'll move on to the next question. Tattooing can destroy my teenager's career, especially when going for job interviews. Do you agree with me? Yes, I totally agree with you. Tattoos can be a disadvantage when you're at, at a job interview. It depends what job you are applying for, of course. But a newspaper interview with recruitment companies in 2001 found that in a choice between an applicant with visible tattoos and one without, up to 70% of employers will choose the applicant without tattoos, of course. It is hard to think of an advantage that a Christian could gain from having tattoos. And that is why so many Christian youth would rather remain cool and clean with no tattoos. Move on to the next question. What if my tattoo is hidden and no one can see it, so no one will be offended from it? Can I still get one? The tattoo was seen by the person who put it there and by everyone who knows the wearer very well. Most of all, it's seen by the person who wears it on their body. No matter where it is on the body and who sees it, the message is the same. At best, wearing a hidden tattoo is a questionable behavior that Christians should avoid. Move on to the next question. What is henna tattoo? Is it safe for teenagers? The process is called mehndi. The tattoos are generally an intricate design and brown in color. They will fade in time, about two to four weeks, depending on the type of henna that has been used and your teen's care of the area that was tattooed. It is close to impossible to remove except through the natural fading, but some believe you can speed up the fading by applying hydrogen peroxide to the area daily. Mehndi is a popular type of skin adornment in South Asia, the Middle East, uh, North Africa and Somalia. The FDA has not yet approved henna for a skin dye in the United States. It is only approved as a form of hair dye. Therefore, you will want to be sure that your youth will not have allergic reactions to the dye by checking the skin with a small amount of dye first. Skin specialists are even warning against temporary tattoos. They say that many people develop severe reactions days or weeks after getting henna tattoos. The problem is not the henna, it is adding the chemical PPD to the henna to make the tattoo darker. It can cause dermatitis that may last for months. Henna tattoos are being used as a compromise for some parents of youth who want real tattoos. If your youth wants a henna tattoo, they will not hurt her. Talk to your youth and set the limits. And the youth, get your parents' permission before going forward with this henna, as this, like tattooing, is an outward mark and will be seen by all. Let's now move to our church fathers and see what they say about tattooing. St. Julian says, describing those who wear tattoos as barbarians. For lo, every tribe of barbarians to the shores of ocean has come to lay its gifts before my feet. So too, the Saugadis, who dwell beyond the Danube, wondrous with their bright tattooing and hardly like human beings, so wild and strange are they. <laughs> Let's move on to the story then. If we follow the steps of our Lord and take the blessings of our parents' obedience, 
then we will not need to decorate our bodies with anything that is so appealing and distracting like tattoos. Let's look at the following story in his mother's footsteps. It was a busy day in our Costa Mesa, California home, but then with 10 children and one on the way, every day was a bit hectic. On this particular day, however, I was having trouble doing even routine chores, all because of one little boy. Len, who was three at the time, was on my heels no matter where I went. Whenever I stopped to do something and turned back around, I would tip over him. Several times I patiently suggested fun activities to keep him occupied. Wouldn't you like to play on the swing set? I asked again. But he simply smiled that innocent smile and said, oh that's all right mummy. I'd rather be here with you. Then he continued to bounce happily along behind me. After stepping on his toes for the fifth time, I began to lose my patience and insisted that he go outside and play with the other children. When I asked him why he was acting this way, he looked up at me with sweet green eyes and said, well, mommy, in primary, my teacher told me to walk in Jesus' footsteps. <laughs> but I can't see him, so I am walking in yours. I gathered Len in my arms and held him close. Tears of love and humility spilled over from the prayer that grew in my heart. A prayer of thanks for the simple yet beautiful perspective of a three-year-old boy. So do follow your parents' footsteps. They don't have tattoos, don't get... If they do have tattoos, also don't get tattoos. <laughs> so. This ends our episode for, for today on tattooing. I hope you have benefited from this topic and that it will help our teenagers to think twice before may, marking and destroying their pure bodies. See you in our next episode where we will discuss the issue on dating. Very interesting issue. Meet us next week and don't forget to tell your friends to join you. God bless you and keep you safe.